today we're going to deal with a laptop. This is a Dell Rugged uh, 5404. Um, these are getting more popular as they're popping up on the surplus market, which is where I found mine. I've got a slightly slower model, but I did manage to put a GT720 video card in here, which I covered in a different video. But uh, the battery on this is not great. It came with a 62 watt hour battery, which is a lithium ion. It's a little bit light, but uh, it does about an hour on this these days, which doesn't quite feel right. And there's a big scratch that come on this battery pack when I was getting it out this time. Interesting. What arrived in the mail today is a 97 watt hour LiPo. This is a Chinese knockoff as best I can tell, although this little sticker on here is going to be interesting given the tight tolerances on the other battery. I think I might pull this little sticker off. I'll investigate what's under here. I'll grab my Victrinox here and rip this off. What do we got under here? <laughs> It actually has a Dell logo on there, although a little bit darker than the other, so this may be a knockoff, I don't know. In any case, this one is a uh, 2016, third month of 2016 issue. This one is 2022 manufacture, so I don't know how long it's been sitting and how charged it'll be, but we're going to whack this in here and uh, compare the battery life. The first thing I am going to do is plug this in and make sure it works. So we're going to flip our battery door down here and there is a little blue lever thingy here I believe that goes to that direction let's see if we can get this in here I was a bit dubious as to whether this would fit and it is a bit of a stiff fit that could be the side effect of how I reassembled things last time I disassembled stuff okay we've got ourselves some power somewhere in the back here and my water bottle is uh, tipping over Hence why I don't have open cups on this desk. Now this is showing charge light, which is good. Now I should probably declare that this was an AliExpress uh, battery. So uh, we're going to sort of see how AliExpress goes with what would I, ex I expect would have been an original. Uh, but then again, I got this from a computer refurbisher. But uh, 2016 is quite a while ago. I think the original rating for these batteries is about five hours, uh, but that's for the base model without all the bells and whistles. This has a whole bunch of things like Bluetooth and the 4G module. It doesn't have the NFC, it's a bit earlier from that. Um, I don't have anything in the PCMCIA slot, I don't believe. Which, uh, now I do have an SSD in this, a SATA SSD. Nothing in the PCM port. Um, no, yes I do, I have a two port USB 2.0 card in there. So, we'll fire this up. We'll see what it says in the operating system. Okay, it's in and running and uh, 35 minute to full charge. It says we're 76%, that's all right. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run a battery report and uh, see what the battery history of this particular battery is. I've gotta remember how to do this and there is a command here I have to look up. I think that is power CFG um, slash battery report. All right, let's run that. Let it spit things out to a file somewhere. All right, so it's a battery report. Let's have a look here. The installed batteries. It does show up as a 93 watt hour as its design capacity. Full charge capacity at the moment is listed at that. We will have to cycle this before it comes up again. The report generated, well, it's got 70,000 milliwatt hours, so 70 watt hour um, at 76%. That's all good. You should be able to find out some other information about this. Um, this is the usage history of the whole system. So it includes the usage history of my old battery which is uh, showing full charge capacity at 62 watt hour with a design capacity of 66. This is the old battery, uh, but I'll tell you now, it wasn't really living up to that. So yeah, the previous ones are showing like 57 watt hours, um, 48. So yeah, and in some cases, a 34 watt hour. So uh, depending on the usage, it's not quite living up to its spec. So uh, hopefully this new battery works out pretty well. In fact, I don't need to do that discharge test 
because it's got down here all the times before uh, going flat. And on this day, I think I ran entirely on battery and it was an hour and 10 minutes. Um, and sometimes I turn it on when I haven't got the rest of the batteries. But I looked up the date of filming. I was in the field with this an hour and 10 minutes. So uh, we won't bother putting the old one in just yet. Uh, I'll keep that as a spare charged up. And um, we will let this charge up fully and then we'll do a discharge test. All right, so I flipped over to BIOS to have a quick look at the battery health in here, and it says health is excellent, and we're at 99%. We're nearly charged. I'm gonna wait till that flicks over to 100. Then I'm gonna swap in the old battery and see what the BIOS thinks of that. And uh, I might charge this other one up, and uh, I will shove it in my six-wheel drive military ambulance slash camper as a backup, which is where I generally use this. This is my field laptop. It's not the greatest thing, but it's also not the slowest thing. I can get the occasional short out while I'm out in the field and I can download everything off my GoPros. All right, extracting the new battery, there's this big long scratch down here again. This tells me that it's something I really need to check out. So I did. I came down to this screw here. When I disassembled it, I marked every hole with the length of the screw. And this one I marked as a short screw. Turns out there are two lengths of short screws and this one is not quite the shortest of the short. And I'll show you why that's important. Inside the battery bay, just in under here, if this thing will focus, that's where that little screw comes in right there, which correlates with that scratch. So, I need to swap screws around until I find the right one. Now I started pulling the screws out of the short screw hole and most of them were short like these three but one of them was shorter than the rest so that one is an extra short i will mark that now we're going to test this before we put the screw in slides in nice and easily now let's put this screw in with the battery pack half in see if things change tolerances are fine yeah much better okay i'll put these other three back in and we'll mark that all right, mark this one, it's extra short, so that I don't make that mistake again. Yeah, don't mind the messy side of my desk, you're not supposed to see that. Let's look up here, if you're gonna do this in BIOS, you push the F2 key from about this point till it comes up here and says we're entering setup, also known as the BIOS menu. And it will go into BIOS, and from here you come down two notches and go to BIOS or battery health. In this case it's at 46%, says it's charging, the health is good. I don't think it's that good, but we'll see the difference in the batteries. I'll charge this on up later, and uh, I'm pretty sure this supports hot swapping batteries. So now we're in BIOS, we're going to see, because we're not likely to corrupt anything here. We'll push our little blue button to the side here, and let's rip our battery out. There we go. And let's whack our 96 back in, or 97. There we go. <laughs> Will it detect the battery? It does. There you go. I've never tried that before, but hot swapping batteries is possible. All right, we're powering up. Out comes AC power. We're going to run a battery for a while. Our old battery is here. So uh, we're going to see how long this runs. All right, straight out of the gate, let's see what it reckons. So it reckons three hours, three minutes. It normally gives me an estimate of about 60 or 50 minutes. All right, I've been playing around with it for a little bit, and uh, our time estimate, well, it said six hours before. Now it's seeing about three hours 40. I'm playing some, Bluetooth, uh, some YouTube. I had a set of Bluetooth speakers on, but those JBL Go's don't like this Bluetooth module for some reason. We'll keep playing. Okay, it's been running for a little while. Let's have a look at what we're at. Two hours, 48 minutes left, and we're 5.44, so it's been going for quite a while. Okay, where are we at at the moment? 20% remaining, an hour and 25. It's playing, been playing YouTube video at uh, 1080p pretty much this whole time. Well, just moments after I've recorded that, it's saying the battery is running low. So uh, let's see where we're at with this. Um, it's now saying 7%. 
so yeah it uh it dropped off when i put a load on it so uh yep and it had a t uh, an issue here this is pretty well where i would have called the battery flat in case you ever wanted to know what aussie internet's like this is nbn in my end of the world it's not the greatest <laughs> you couldn't even upload so a few moments after that i ran went to run a speed test and uh, I got the low battery warning. It said it was at 7%. Now we're dropping down to 6. So I'm going to do a bit of usual mucking around. And we'll see if we almost make it to 4 hours. Alright. So I just tried to load Google Earth. And uh, it shut down. So uh, that is at 7.51. Let's go and check my notepad and do our final tally. Okay. The 97 watt hour lithium polymer battery started at 1622 that's 422 for layman's and ended at 1951 that's 7 51 p.m now that gives us a total of three hours 29 minutes on battery a vast majority of this has been running 1080p streaming video on youtube which puts that little gt 720m working pretty hard as well as the fan so this is a good decent amount of work the last half hour or so was me mucking around in Google Earth and sitting on Facebook and a few other things. So pretty indicative of the usual usage I would give it anyway. But three and a half hours is way better than the hour and ten minutes that I was getting on the other battery. So definitely big step up. So I guess that's uh, the end of that test. And uh, we'll do more later on. Let me know if you want to see them.